joining us. Um, so my name is Stephen Larson. I'm a project coordinator and co-founder of OpenWorm, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about, uh, give you an overview of all the great stuff that's been going on in the project. So um, the goal of OpenWorm uh, has always been uh, the full-scale simulation of an animal, or as we like to call it, um, to build the world's first digital organism inside a computer. And uh, we're very excited uh, over the last several years of the project with all the progress that we've made. Um, the basic idea of building a full simulation of an animal is that we want to reproduce um, the body of, uh, of an animal. We want to reproduce its control system or its brain, sort of its nervous system. And we want to reproduce uh, a world that it lives in because uh, we realize that um, fully simulating an organism, we have to have all three of these components. We have to have an environment, we have to have a body, and we have to have brain. And so this is what it would look like if we were trying to simulate a human. Um, but of course, uh, the project's called Open Worm. And so uh, that's because what we realized at the beginning of the project is that if we wanted to make uh, a goal that was as uh, ambitious as this, that um, we should start with the best known organism uh, in biology that exists. And that turns out to be a worm. I know it's super sexy. Um, but uh, the idea is that uh, this worm is actually uh, incredibly well studied. So it's only got uh, about a thousand cells in its whole body and it's written to neurons. Um, there's about a thousand labs in the world that study it. Um, we've done all sorts of research on this little worm called C. elegans. It is very small. It's um, about as long as a hair on your head is wide, one millimeter. Um, and as a result, um, there's actually also been quite a bit of work trying to simulate it um, in the past uh, before we ever came along. So it seemed like a really good place to, to start. And um, uh, those of us who are also interested in the brain and AI and neuroscience, computational neuroscience, have a special interest in, in that this um, nervous system of rooted in two neurons, um, maybe it will, could be the first nervous system where we really get some deeper understanding as to how it is that these cells are processing uh, information in the same way that we can think about it like in a computer. So, um, so this has been the goal of the project, um, and hopefully, um, you know, as we as we built a lot of foundations uh, currently, we can get to this point where we have uh, sort of an aha moment and some insight where we can extract some principles about how the nervous system does what it does. So we began in about winter 2011, um, and right off the bat, we were already putting things out into the open. So the open part of Open Worm is, of course, that we uh, work in a radically open science process whereby which we put um, all our materials out online um, as soon as they're created. Um, so the first thing we did is release this Worm browser, which you can still access today, browser.org. Um, we got our first paper out um, in uh, later in fall 2012. Um, people started blogging about us in 2013, and we really started getting um, uh, building a larger community on social media. Um, that led to, in summer 2014, we did the Kickstarter. Um, by fall of 2015, we got another paper out, and we released WormSim, which was the focus of our Kickstarter. And then in summer of 2016, we got a third paper out, and we formed um, the Open Worm Foundation and incorporated it. And we've been operating in this new form uh, with a bunch of committees that have been uh, working on community efforts uh, across many different er areas. Um, in that community explosion part, uh, we got attention like this, so uh, folks... Um, saw us up on uh, you know, publications like The Economist, and uh, you know, uh, we're, we're aligned with our mission. Um, we've given a few talks, and we've done an AMA on Reddit, so we're all about outreach and getting out there into the community. And um, we even picked up uh, briefly by, uh, by a program on the Discovery Channel um, that sort of told the story of uh, what it might mean to, for all, all of us to be living inside of a simulation, so that was pretty cool. But um, we are also a group that is committed to serious science and seriously putting stuff out there. And so we've really been confronting this worm from the deepest depths of its biology. Um, so that worm browser that I told you about is still available online. You can go check it out. It basically gives you a 3D map that you can rotate and zoom in and out of that shows each and every cell that's in the body of the worm, including its muscles and its neurons and how they're positioned. Um, and um, we've been working on this model of the body of the worm now for... Uh, for several years, and um, we call it cybernetic. That's because the uh, the creators of this, our, our sub team, is from uh, Siberia, and um, that's why it's spelled that way. And uh, these are some recent movies from it. Um, this in the upper left hand corner is actual data, so that's a real worm crawling around. 
but these two here are a 3D um, picture of the, it's not a computer animation, actually. It is uh, actually the 3D output of a physics simulation um, that's being shown here. So the fact that this worm is crawling around, carving uh, space out of uh, a dish is actually uh, based on the physics and frictional forces that it's uh, that it's achieving. So that's pretty great. In this case, though, we don't have neurons plugged into it yet. Um, that's uh, the project is a subject of another part of the project where we've been uh, building out the connections and the dynamics of the neurons. You can also browse this up online on something called Open Source Brain. Um, you'll hear from Porig telling you about that a little bit later. Um, and so this uh, makes for a really nice uh, open source representation of a complete uh, neuron circuit, um, which we think is one of the most detailed that's ever been put up online. Um, this is based on a rich foundation of open source uh, software with a lot of uh, really cool engineering effort that's gone into it and a lot of other projects that have um, combined into it called Geppetto. Um, this has its own site, and you'll hear more about this later as well, but uh, check this out. It's basically a, a platform of middleware that allows us to take all the simulation work that we've done and, and, and make it available in WormSim um, so that you can easily click on it and check out the results of the simulation. And that's, so I mentioned WormSim, so that was the result of uh, what we did in the, in the Kickstarter. And you can go check that out also at uh, wormsim.org. Uh, and uh, basically what it lets you do is to not only play with a static uh, version of the anatomy of the worm, but also drill in and see uh, different cell activity, see uh, muscles lighting up, um, play around with some code, and have some documentation. It's pretty great. Um, this is what it looks like when you get into it. So what we're doing uh, moving forward is uh, we're actually in this year, 2016, pivoting from a lot of the you know foundation laying work that we've done of gathering a lot of data, of building a lot of uh, code. Uh, at this point, more than 40 repositories out on our GitHub organization. Um, we're pivoting from just writing the code and now getting into more and more running complete simulations that go all the way from that body model to having the neurons plugged into it, to having the cells doing the right thing, to having even ion channels that are in the cells doing the right thing. Um, we're continuing to assemble data on the worm into the simulation. So um, more and more effort now is going from the minimal amount of data that we have to really going into even more detail. Um, specifically, we have, you know, the ion channels are basically only the ion channels from muscles, and now we're, you know, venturing into looking at almost 40 other new ion channels that we're going to be putting into the simulation. And then, of course, um, because we do care about doing real science, um, we are. Uh, we still have uh, several publications that are in the works. Um, firstly, to publish the work that we have done to date, and then also we're working on a publication which um, could go outside of the computational literature into um, you know, actual biology journals to help biologists make better hypotheses about how this worm works and how neurons work and how brains work um, and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Um, and, I, and I need to mention before I close um, that this project is the result of lots of people's efforts, uh, not just mine. Um, this really is a true open collaboration. Um, we've had dozens and dozens of contributors um, you know, uh, make an impact on here, and, and literally everything that I've shown you is the result of uh, lots of work of lots of folks here. So I just uh, would like to you know, thank all these uh, organizations and individuals who have done so much amazing work for the project. Um, it's really been an incredible uh, several years and looking forward to incredible uh, more coming up.